For more than 137 years, the Brooklyn Bridge has welcomed and inspired people from around the world. It's been a source of pride for New Yorkers and a symbol of what can be done against all odds. In our time of uncertainty today, the bridge remains a source of inspiration, and we believe it can become a platform for addressing some of today's most pressing problems. Over the past 10 years, our team, architects, designers, engineers, foresters, and ecologists, has been working together to forge connections between the Brooklyn Bridge, New York City, and a partnering tropical forest community. We're really excited to share our presentation with you, and we look forward to discussing it. Today, humanity faces major challenges. The coronavirus pandemic, systemic inequality, loss of biodiversity, and climate change. These challenges are immense, but they are also an opportunity for imagination and courage, an invitation to fix broken systems and to support new generations to co-create a future characterized by social equity and interdependence with nature. Brooklyn Bridge Forest reimagines the bridge and the neighborhoods it connects as revitalized and expansive public spaces that are suited to today's needs while being adaptable to an unpredictable future. We reimagine the bridge as an icon of climate action and a symbol of the unique power that cities have to protect and restore nature locally and around the globe. At the center of our proposal is the idea that people from all walks of life must have a voice in the renewal and reimagination of such a beloved landmark and the city around it. So there are four basic pillars to our proposal. An expanded promenade, new cycling and alternative transportation infrastructure, microforests, and community engagement. Pillar one, the historic wooden walkway will be rebuilt using planks sustainably sourced from a 200,000 acre partner forest in Guatemala. The new walkway will have pedestrian lookouts places where people can safely pause, rest, and enjoy the view. Our innovative and equitable funding model invites participation from people of all ages and income levels to sponsor each of the 20,000 new planks. Pillar two, the bridge will be a beacon for alternative greener modes of transportation. Up at the promenade level, we propose a new dedicated two-way bike path running alongside the pedestrian walkway. At the lower deck level, two traffic lanes will be immediately converted to use for bicycles and electric assist vehicles to improve access and safety while making a bold statement about New York City's commitment to low carbon transit. Pillar three, at either end of the bridge, microforests will revitalize the urban landscape, providing access to nature in underserved areas. These small biodiverse forests will help the city meet its sustainability goals and create opportunities for community building and education. And pillar four, Community engagement will be the basis for all decision-making. Our unique co-design process, which we call the Sandbox, will be implemented to ensure that the bridge serves the city as a whole, and especially its marginalized communities. So why should cities focus on forests? The answer is both local and global. Study after study has found that access to nature is essential to the health and well-being of city dwellers. People need safe, comfortable natural spaces for exercise, as places to de-stress and recharge, and now, more than ever, as places to escape from the crowded urban jungle. The pandemic has brought these needs into sharp focus. Complementing the expanded walkway and new bike path, our microforest will create new spaces for people to safely recreate outdoors, stay cool in the shade, and move about the neighborhoods at either end of the bridge. At a global level, protecting forests is essential to maintaining a stable climate. Tropical forests are havens of biological and cultural diversity and absorb enormous amounts of carbon. In fact, forests are estimated to be one-third of the climate solution. New York City has committed to fighting tropical deforestation and climate change. It is a founding member of a global movement, Cities for Forests, that enlists cities in protecting and restoring forests near and far. Brooklyn Bridge Forest is an opportunity for New York City to demonstrate leadership in nature-based solutions to climate change and fulfill its ambitious 80 by 50 climate commitments, as well as the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The 200,000 acre FSC certified forest we propose to partner with 
Washaktun, is located in the heart of Central America's largest protected area. Washaktun has proven that community forestry is one of the best ways to protect rainforests. After over a century of continuous use, Washaktun's forest remains intact and wildlife is thriving. New York City can support this legacy of conservation while highlighting the potential of partnerships between cities and forests around the world. Microforests bring a tiny piece of this wilderness into the city. They are like opening windows through the concrete into the natural history of Manhattan and Brooklyn, allowing residents to experience the benefits of native trees, plants, and wildlife that have existed in this land for thousands of years. Microforests will offer habitat for wildflowers, a refuge for migratory birds, and stopovers for key pollinators. They will provide gathering space for people of all ages, especially children and youth, to learn firsthand about native ecosystems, and they will serve as a natural backdrop for public art and performance. By connecting patches of sparse vegetation and creating closed forest canopies, microforests can also reduce air temperatures and energy use by up to 25%, thus aligning with New York City's sustainability goals for buildings to reach a 10% reduction in emissions, as well as absorbing stormwater to reduce pressure on the city's combined sewer system. These forested oases allow the reintroduction of species once found throughout the five boroughs, including green comet milkweed, a plant that supports migrating monarch butterflies on their way to the subtropics. The microforests are easily replicable and their benefits increase exponentially as forests grow and as more are added throughout the five boroughs. Microforests offer high impact access to nature in underserved communities. Local stewardship groups will be formed and with assistance from the Natural Areas Conservancy will plan, plant and care for forests, creating an opportunity to bring people together and to take pride in forests locally and citywide. Now let's have a closer look at our promenade concept. So much of our design is based on a deep love of this incredible structure, its proportions, its natural materials, and visible connections that put history within reach of curious fingers and toes. Building on this beautiful legacy of stone, steel, and wood, our proposal restores the promenade to Roebling's original vision for it as a place of delight for pedestrians, using sustainably harvested wood planks from our partner forest in the tropics. Running alongside the main walkway, a series of modular lookouts create places for pedestrians to stop and enjoy the views without obstructing the main promenade path. And access to these lookout spaces can be given to artists, community groups, and vendors for special events. A parallel bike path will allow cyclists to move smoothly and safely across the bridge with intermittent connections to the pedestrian promenade that link the spaces and create access for first responders. Along the bike path, widened bike stop areas invite cyclists to dismount, gather, and just enjoy the experience. At the very center of the span, a large central plaza ties it all together, the lookouts, the promenade, and the bike path. And each of the 20,000 planks used in the design will be sponsored by individual supporters and community groups. Raising a $20 million fund, our proposal offers the promenade at no cost to the city, as well as a suite of programming for local youth. We want to ensure that the boardwalk remains a wooden one. Wood is now widely considered to be the most sustainable urban building material. It is renewable and sequesters carbon. Sustainably sourced tropical hardwood is strong, durable, and lightweight, minimizing additional loads on the bridge structure. And our partner forest model that actively saves tropical forests can be easily replicated to be used for wood and other infrastructure throughout the city. We have been prompted to answer the question, how does this design meet the current pandemic needs? There are immediate changes that we'd like to make. Changes that help New Yorkers meet the challenges of the pandemic by increasing space and access for cyclists and pedestrians on the bridge, and by reclaiming or improving usable public space at either end of the bridge. This will be our first two moves. One, let's convert two lower deck car lanes into dedicated cycling and alternative transit lanes. Two, let's plant the first microforests. Both of these moves will make a bold, visible statement about the city's commitment to creatively addressing the pandemic challenges and to green transportation. To improve cycle access, we propose converting the outermost traffic lane on the Manhattan-bound lower deck into a dedicated two-way bike lane protected by a safety barrier from car traffic. On the Brooklyn side, within the underutilized Anchorage Plaza, which is currently fenced off, we will create access to this lower deck bike lane with a dramatic pop-up ramp. The ramp will be quickly and affordably constructed with scaffolding 
directly linking the new bike lane to the existing routes running through Cadman Plaza Park and Washington Street and streamlining cyclist connection to Dumbo in downtown Brooklyn. This new bike lane also provides continuous service for bicycles while improvements are made to the upper promenade. On the Manhattan side, we will provide access to this bike lane by converting a barricaded off-ramp currently used for parking by NYPD into a new bike access plaza with a variety of cycling amenities and pop-up cafe. The base of this ramp places cyclists on Park Row with an existing two-way bike lane connecting with uptown or downtown bike routes. Meanwhile, the inner lane of the south side of the lower deck will be transformed into a dedicated two-way zone for electric assist vehicles with access from Tillery Street in Brooklyn and Center Street in Manhattan. In Brooklyn, the new pop-up bike ramp, additional bicycle parking, and new city bike docking stations will transform the plaza into a cyclist dream. Microforce and multi-use outdoor spaces will be woven throughout the plaza, and the anchorage vaults, which have long been vacant, will be converted into spaces for vendors, small businesses, and organizations from the community. A new wooden boardwalk will link these spaces and be a tangible connection to the rainforest and the new future promenade. In Manhattan, we envision the Anchorage vault structure as home for an awesome new youth center called the Understory, a dynamic place for young people from surrounding neighborhoods to gather for innovative programming related to nature, engineering, and the arts. The Brooklyn Bridge becomes both the place and the subject for hands-on learning. Youth will learn to lead tours, host community workshops, and just hang out with peers and professional mentors. Across the street from the Anchorage, a microforest pilot will be planted and new gathering spaces added at Alfred E. Smith houses along Pearl Street. The existing playground will be retrofitted with kid-friendly microforests. And with the perimeter fences removed, the microforest will spread out onto the sidewalk and across the street, providing a welcoming portal to the housing, shade for the bus stop, and a new green landmark for the neighborhood. A cornerstone of the Brooklyn Bridge Forest is effectively engaging a diversity of stakeholders, local organizations, youth, professionals, and city government. Our co-designed sandbox brings everyone to the table, literally to democratize the process. Using a custom-made kit of parts, participants work together within clear boundaries that create space for focused, collaborative problem-solving. For bicycle and alternative transit lanes, we will convene community members, advocacy groups, DOT and city government representatives. Well-prepared sandbox tools will allow participants to get hands-on with lane placements, ramps, guards, and other cycling infrastructure that will lead to real success. Our proposal meets some of one NYC's most challenging sustainability goals head-on while equipping the Brooklyn Bridge to support both present and future needs. By implementing the Brooklyn Bridge Forest, New York City will create two and a half acres of magnificent outdoor public space with natural forests, triple the bicycle and pedestrian capacity on the bridge, unlock innovative pathways for NYC's climate action planning while protecting a rainforest, inherit replicable design components that can be implemented elsewhere in projects throughout the city, like park benches and other boardwalks, receive $20 million worth of self-funded sustainable infrastructure. And these outcomes are attributes of the sustainable, equitable future that we would like to cultivate. The Brooklyn Bridge Forest not only reimagines Brooklyn Bridge, it reimagines our relationship with nature, cities, and our global climate, using the Brooklyn Bridge to lead us there.